So today we are going to see program on link state routing for computer networks lab. So let us see the .tcl file for the same program. Set ns new simulator will set a new simulator for the class ns. Set ns open cn6.nam will open a nam file for the experiment. $ns nam trace all $nf will trace all the contents of the nam file to the class ns. Similarly, set tf open cn6.tr space w will set a trace file for the experiment cn6. $ns trace all $tf will trace all the contents of the trace file to the class ns. Next set of instructions are procedural instructions for the program. Proc finish is the initial statement. Global ns nf tf. This instruction tells us that class ns, the nam file and the trace file are declared globally. Dollar ns flush trace. Close dollar nf will close the nam file. Close dollar tf will close the trace file. EXEC NAM CN6.NAM. This instruction will execute the NAM file under CN6. Exit 0 will exit this set of instructions. For the same experiment, we need to set a number of nodes, namely from A0 to A4. Set A0 $NS node will set A0 as a node in the class NS. Similarly, we have set nodes, namely A1. A2, A3, and A4 in the similar fashion. For these nodes, we need to establish certain duplex links. So let us see how it is done. $NS, duplex link, A0, $A1, 100 MB, 10 MS drop tail. This instruction tells us that in the global class NS, there is a duplex link between A0 and A1 at 100 MB, 10 MS drop tail. Therefore, the Q limit for A0 and A1 is 50, which is shown in the next instruction. Similarly, we have set duplex links in the class NS for various nodes such as A0 and A2 with Q limit 50, A0 and A3 with Q limit 50, A1 and A2 again with the Q limit of 50, Similarly, the duplex links between A1, A3, A2, A3, and A3, A4 with Q limits between them to be 50 respectively. So we need certain orientation that needs to be done for the link state routing algorithm. So that is done using duplex link OP instruction between certain nodes as following. $NS duplex link OP $A0 $A1 Orient write this instruction tells us that in the global class NS, there is a duplex link that is operating between the A0 and A1 node with the orientation of write. Similarly, we have a duplex link operating between A0 and A2 that has a write down orientation. A duplex link operating between A0 and A3 with the orientation of write down. A1 and A2 with orientation of left down, duplex links between nodes A0 and A3 with the orientation of left down. Similarly, A2, A3 with the orientation of right, A3 and A4 with the right orientation as well. Next, we need to set certain costs for the nodes at certain numeric values. $NS cost $A0 and $A1 at 2. $NS cost A0 and A2 at 1. $NS cost A0 and A3 at 3. $NS cost A1 and A0 at 2. A1, A2 at 2. A1, A3 at 3. Similarly, A2, A1 at 2. A2, A0 at 1. A2, A3 at 1. Followed by A3, A1 at 3 nodes A3 and A2 at 1, A3 and A0 at 3, A3 and A4 at 2. 
dollar ns costs between a4 and a3 nodes at the numeric value of 2 we have set certain udp agent the instruction for the which goes as follows set udp new agent udp this instruction sets udp0 as the new agent dollar ns attach agent dollar a not dollar udp0 this will attach node a not to udp0 set null 1 this will create a new agent called null that will attach a4 to the null in the next instruction dollar ns Connect dollar UDP zero and dollar one null one will connect UDP and null one in the class of NS. Dollar UDP zero set packet size fifteen hundred will set the flow of packet size under UDP as fifteen hundred. Set CBR zero will open a new application along with traffic for CBR. Dollar CBR zero attach a attach agent. Dollar UDP zero will attach CBR to UDP zero. Again, we have packet size of thousand at CBR zero, and we have a set rate of one MB, and we have set an instruction called dollar CBR zero set random underscore null. Then we have the last few instructions that will be closing a program. Dollar ns at one point zero, CBR will start. At five, CBR will stop. We have a instruction called dollar ns rt proto ls. Dollar ns five finish at five, the program will finish and dollar ns will run the execution. I mean, it will run the whole program for the execution. Let us see the output for the same. We'll open the terminal window and we will type ns space cn6. That is what the file name that we have given for this program. ns space cn6.tcl. Once you press enter, we can see a NAM file. Let us maximize this. For a better view, let us edit and let us place the nodes. 0, 1, 2, and 3 in a good manner. So this is the link state algorithm. So once we start, you can see that there are packets flowing from various nodes, sometimes from 0 to 3, sometimes from 1 to 2. This is the link state routing algorithm. Thank you.